hi my name is Karina and welcome back to girls with wisdom today we are going to be coding the line for best fit in python so we're going to be using some of what we learned in the past video which is the java video for how to calculate slope and now we're going to calculate the line of best fit in java so there are some differences between the two languages such as syntactical differences comments are different um, semicolons, which is syntactical, the way you name things, return statements, it's all very minor things, but once you pick up on one language, it's very easy to implement onto the other. So the first thing we're going to do is just get rid of all of the online compiler code. And the first thing we're going to do is do our import, but it's in the Python version. So we will do from statistics import mean and then write import numpy as np. So just going to be abbreviated it. And numpy is the basic math import for Python. So now we're going to do, we're just going to call a variable xs and set it to np.array. And open up parentheses and a regular bracket and just have a set of numbers. So I'm going to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then we're going to close our bracket and then write d type equals np, which is their numpy dot float 64. Close this and we don't need any syntactical semicolons for Python. We're going to do now ys. So, so that equal to np. Um, and write again np dot array and do another brackets uh, parentheses and brackets and inside this one we're gonna do um let's do oops this is bothering me sorry so we're gonna do three four five four three just a different random set of numbers. And we're gonna write D type, D type, one, two, three, four, five, sorry. D type equals NP dot float 64. And close our parentheses. So now we're gonna go out of our parentheses and just create a little bit of a space and write def, we're just defining it. And we're gonna write best underscore fit underscore slope and here we're just going to do xs comma ys do um, semi a regular colon and write m is equal to parentheses 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 and we're going to write the mean and then open xs close it and then we're going to move one over and do an asterisk and write mean and then we're going to do ys and then one two and then do a subtraction sign and write mean parentheses xs times ys one two and then down here just to make it a little cleaner we're going to do mean times Excess again, sorry, and then just two multiplication signs and write two, and then another subtraction of mean parentheses xx two, and then we're going to have one, two, and we should have three. So now we have to have a return statement and this is going to, um, return statements are, so the way that you tab and center and index in Python is important, not syntactical. So we have to at the end fix all of the way our code is um, being, I think I just fixed it. Um, return M and then we're gonna have our last line of M equals best underscore fit underscore slope um parentheses 
x s comma y s and then just have a final print statement of print m and run our code so there is an issue um here and the d type is where we got it d type syntactic d type did i spell it right hmm D type equals np dot float. Oh, we didn't have a comma. That's my bad. We didn't have a comma after both of these brackets, and that would affect our code. So let's run it again. Return m. Hmm. Return line ten. Return m. So this could play a role with m equals bracket 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 mean xx times mean of ys minus the mean of xs times ys divided by the parentheses. One more tab. Mean xs times times minus mean of xs times times. One, two, three. Return m. And we do M return. We have M equals def best underscore fit underscore slope xs comma ys. There's an extra space if not needed. Unintent does not match outer indention. Oh, so it is an indent. Okay. So we have. Okay, yeah, I see where we did. So our M, this should be lined up here the means the word mean should be lined up and um that hopefully fixed our error it's really okay perfect so since our numbers were so skewed this is our line for best fit in python i hope it was helpful and you can change this code to implement it to any ways you would like to create a line of best fit as you see debugging code is very simple you either go through a line by line that it tells you and read it and in my case it was an indent error thank you so much and have a great day